time since the Second World War, Japan is planning to deploy its forces in this manner. The cabinet in Japan has approved a controversial plan. The plan to send Japan's naval forces to West Asia. So why is this controversial? Because Japan has a pacifist constitution. The country technically does not have an army. They rely on America for security. And that's something that Shinzo Abe Based on the need to ensure the safety of Japanese ships and in order to strengthen the information collection system, we are considering using the assets of self-defense forces. The signs, they were always there. But still, Shinzo Abe has taken a big decision. Japan will dispatch a helicopter-equipped destroyer warship two patrol planes to the Middle East and a total of 206 personnel from Japan's Maritime Self-Defense Force. The deployment will begin next month and last for a year. This will be Japan's own operation, meaning Tokyo won't be a part of the U.S.-led mission to ensure peace in the region. Japan decision. Reason 1, Iran asked for it. During his recent visit, Iran's President Hassan Rouhani sought Japan's direct role in the region. Reason 2. Japan needs it. Saudi Arabia, UAE, Qatar, Kuwait and Iran account for nearly 90% of Japan's crude oil. Reason 3. The relationship between Japan and Iran has always been cordial, except for a brief phase at the end of the Second World War. Sending assets for information gathering is Japan's own individual measure. We have explained this to the United States along with the relevant countries and coastal states. So where will Japanese forces patrol in the region? Gulf of Oman, the northern part of the Arabian Sea and Bab el Mandeb Strait which connects the Red Sea with the Gulf of Aden. Japan's mission will not patrol in the Strait of Hormuz, the Strait. Japan's presence in the region could spur a return to normalcy in the region. Earlier this year, several international merchant vessels, including a Japanese vessel, the Kokuka Courageous, were attacked in the region. The US blames Iran. Tehran denies. Japan, being an ally of the US and a long-standing friend of Iran, could bring down tensions in the region. But this decision contravenes Japan's post-war pacifist constitution, especially Article 9 in which Tokyo is all military forces except for self-defense. Shinzo Abe's grandfather, who was also a former prime minister, wanted to abolish it. Now Abe has effectively diluted it. Washington wants Japan to increase its contribution to the U.S. forces and the value of Abe's political acumen is being tested by the Trump administration. Abe has convinced the cabinet to operate independently in West Asia, but this decision is more than just a statement, an aggressive China. The growing nuclear threat from North Korea an untrustworthy ally in the U.S., Shinzo Abe has used all these factors to transform Japan's defense. Look at it, since Abe came to power, Japan has diluted its self-defense laws, defense spending has risen, and now the constitution has been diluted. While this step could be viewed as an instance of Japan protecting its energy interests, there's more to it than meets the eye. Japan is asserting itself after decades. Bureau Report, we own. World is one.